Oh yeah, chilling on that brick, boy. Yo, that's so sick. OMGVG! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Hasbro Baby Lip Burst unboxing. Today we got a dual pack for you here. This is the brand new Baby Burst Rise products. So this is our Hypersphere uh, like dual pack set. Um, comes with Rock Dragon and Ogre 05. As you guys know in Baby Lip Burst Rise, that's our main character. We have Drum and Dragon. And so let's take a look at the back of the box. We have uh, brand new parts, so we have Hasbro base now featuring the GT chip and then we also have some kind of uh, remakes of Sting and Charge from uh, our regular Dragon. These are Hasbro versions of Stings which is called D72 and then we got Charge, the Hasbro version of Charge, TH14. So we're meant to play with this in the Hypersphere Stadium. Uh, let's take a look at the Ogre base, the so Ogre 05. Um, I guess 5 now stands for Hypersphere System, um, but Ogre 05 is actually not uh, like a GT system base, so it doesn't have the GT chip, uh, but it does have like the driver, uh, which is TH05, and as you see like from the picture, it's super rounded, really circular, so that is meant to go along the like vertical edge on the Hypersphere Stadium. So super exciting to be able to like test these two out. Um, we already unboxed a couple of like, I uh, got Ace Dragon and Bushin Ashura, like the Hasbro version of that, in our previous mystery box opening. So if you guys haven't seen the Hypersphere system in action yet, go watch that video right over here. Cool, um, so let's open up this box set, the dual pack, and check out Rock Dragon and Ogre 05. Open it up. Nice that Rock Dragon has the original colors. Yeah, three, two, one, whatever. So satisfying. Okay, so this is Rock Dragon D5. That's kind of the full name. I know I have been calling it Rock Dragon. But in the Hasbro name is actually Rock Dragon D5. And so, yep, all in its original color. I'm gonna put that aside, then I'm gonna open everything else up. All right, so these are the parts that we get from this brand new Hypersphere dual pack. So remember guys, this does not come with any ripcord or launcher, so um, it's kind of expected that you have like a starter pack or at least one other launcher, maybe from your like slingshot. It's all cross compatible, backwards compatible with your previous stuff. Um, so yeah, these are the parts we get. Rock Dragon. So original color, I'm really happy that they stuck with that. It may look like metal, but these are actually all plastic. So the paint does look pretty convincing. Um, it's silver, but don't get tricked. These are not metal. So if you put both Takeru Tomi and Hasbro side by side, they look pretty similar. But if you look really, really closely, that's when you're gonna start being able to tell which one's which. The Hasbro version has more of like a matte finish. The Takeru Tomi GT layers actually come in three parts, the chip, the weight, and the base. Um, in the Hasbro version, there is no weight. The weight is integrated with the base. Uh, the chip is separate. However, there are no locks. Now, sometimes when we are customizing our Takara Tomy Beyblade Burst GT base, we kind of look into which chip we should use. Because, for example, Valkyrie chip has you know less locks but stronger teeth. But I guess now in Hasbro's world, because there are no teeth, customizing those chips wouldn't be much of a like deciding factor. Second part right here, we have the Sting disc, but this is like the Hasbro version. The shape does resemble the original one though, so that's you know pretty cool. You can add a frame on it if you really wanted to. Um, again, I think they didn't want to make it too heavy just because you are supposed to be climbing those vertical walls in the stadium. The third part we got right here is Charge. So basically the same uh, Charge performance tip that we saw from our previous like uh, mystery box uh, set. But overall, yeah, again, no metal on the performance tip. Um, it does resemble like the shape and design of it. Um, what's cool is like the bottoms are pretty flat nowadays just because it's meant to like ride on the rails. Well, actually not even rails, those are now called vertical walls. Dragon did come with all three parts like Rock Dragon, Grand Dragon, and Ace Dragon in the Japanese Takara Tomi pack. But I guess in Hasbro, these are separate. Yeah, um, when are we gonna get Grand? Yeah, I want Grand. We'll look forward to seeing Grand one day in another pack. So yeah, I mean like, like it or not, this is what you were getting in the Hasbro Beyblade Burst Rise stuff. I kind of like it. I think the Hypersphere Base Stadium is actually pretty fun to play in. So I'm looking forward to getting more Hypersphere parts to do that. 
Um, and then our second bay, this is like Ogre 05. So we already seen this design previously from other releases, but I guess they did package this with other like hypersphere parts, uh, like basically just a performance set. We get a zero disc and then the TH05. Performance tips on all the hypersphere products are pretty flat, uh, but there is a, like a design difference, like the side, if you're kind of scraping along those areas, it could make a difference. All right, let's uh, put the base together and go over like how the new system work. Okay, so just to give everyone like a refresher if you're new to Hypersphere system. So now our energy layer, we now have the GT chip incorporated in there. So that's one extra piece that you get to customize on your base. So only some of the newer base would have that chip. So the second thing we have that's brand new is the new like grading system. For Hypersphere base, we have now the runtime attribute and the drop in frequency. So for the runtime, basically it's the length of time spent moving along the brink or within the battle ring. And then for drop-in frequency, it's the frequency of which the bay drops in from the brink to the battle ring. So a little bit confusing language, but yeah, let's elaborate. Essentially, the brink is the edge of the bay stadium. You have to climb the vertical wall, and then that outer edge is where you can kind of still travel around without going out of bounds. And then the second major component is the vertical wall. So these are the areas where you get to climb over uh, to get to the brink. And then we also have like the typical battle ring uh, area. So that's like basically just the surface inside the stadium where you get to like go head to head. All right, it's time to do a couple of test battles with the new rock dragon. And ogre, don't forget ogre. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> oh yeah, chilling on that brink, boy. Yo, oh, that's so ahead. sick. Yo, your stamina's gone already. I was just hanging out. Not the best run time. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> oh yeah, chillin on that brick. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh no. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yo, how's my stamina dying? <laughs> Messed you up. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh. Ooh, sick attack. Yo, but hitting the walls is what's the worst though. That's, like, that's how you kill your stamina the most. Oh. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Up all of a sudden. Not enough. That was really cool. Three, two, two one. one. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> it's so cool when it hangs out on the brink, but then all the stamina just dies when you touch the wall. Three, two, two one. Oh, we're getting destroyed. Let's do one more round. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Can Ogre pull it off? He did it. All right, so that's basically it for our Ogre and Rock Dragon dual pack. Um, so the Hypersphere system, pretty cool. Um, this is like 
basically one of our first unboxings on Hypersphere and I'm looking forward to all the other ones that we'll get in the future. That's it for the Hypersphere unboxing. Hope you guys like it. Tell us in the comments below what you guys think of like the stadium, how like it worked. The test battles are pretty fun to be honest with you. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, Geek Soap!